Hi everybody, my name is Richard McMahon from the psychometric testing company mypsychometrictest.com and in this tutorial I'm going to cover inductive reasoning test questions. So if you have any kind of inductive reasoning test coming up or abstract reasoning for that matter, please do watch this tutorial from beginning to end because it will make a huge difference to your preparation. So before I get into those all important um, inductive reasoning test questions and answers, a very warm welcome to this tutorial. As I say, my name is Richard McMahon. That's me there in the center and I'm going to help you to pass your inductive reasoning test by giving you sample test questions, explain what they are, walk through the answers with you and then get you to try some yourself under time conditions. Please do subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video then you won't miss out on any of the weekly training videos that I'm uploading and I would also very much appreciate your support on this channel if you gave the video a like. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get straight into it. So, first of all, what are inductive reasoning tests? Well, this kind of test basically measures your ability to solve problems, visual problems that are presented to you during a test and you have a specific time to solve that problem. Inductive reasoning tests are very similar to abstract reasoning tests in the fact they are designed to measure both your logical reasoning abilities and perpetual reasoning skills by rotating shapes and patterns in your mind whilst they are on the screen. And there is a knack to um, answering these questions under time conditions, which I'm going to work through right now. So let's take a look at some sample inductive reasoning test questions. We're going to work, um, work through them um, in a slow pace, and then I'm going to get you guys to try them yourself. So question number one, sample question Number one, which figure comes next in the sequence? So we are given three shapes, three figures, and we have to decide which one comes next in the sequence from multiple choice answers. So we have A, B, C, and D below. And we have to decide which one comes next in the top right-hand corner right there. So very easy to answer, and we are looking for sequences and patterns. So what I recommend you do, and this is a very important tip for all inductive reasoning test questions is to is to pick one particular element of the shape. So if we look at that cross there, it's a white cross. And if we look there, it's a black cross. And it's rotating clockwise one movement around that shape each time. So there it is white. So that means that on the next shape, it would need to be black and right there in the top right hand corner. So straight away, look at the options below and delete which one doesn't fit that pattern. So that is the only one there that has the black square in the top right hand corner. So if you were to focus on those black squares, sorry, those black crosses, then you could straight away get that answer correct. But let's just confirm that we have actually got the correct answer. So that shape is black, that one is white, that is black, therefore the next one would need to be white. So it's definitely not B or C, and the correct answer again is D. But let's confirm that with the grey circle there. You'll see it's moving clockwise one position each time, which means it would need to be there. So we can confirm that the correct answer is, in fact, D. Now, of course, as you do more of these, your speed will increase. Um, so you'll be able to do them quicker under timed conditions. Let's take a look at another example, inductive reasoning test question. Which figure comes next in the sequence? So we have um, these in the pattern there, and we have to decide which one actually fits there. So we need to decide which one fits there in that sequence. So let's use our same methodology for answering this inductive reasoning test. So you'll notice that that has got five sides. One, two, three, four, five. That has got five sides to the shape. That's got five sides. That has. So we are looking for a five-sided shape that goes there. So if we look at the bottom, only B and E have five sides. So straight away, we can eliminate A, C, and D from our answers. Okay, so all of a sudden we're down to two options. Now, if we are to look at another particular element of the of the sequence, let's choose that black square. We can see it's moving around clockwise. Is one there? It's black, but then it's white, and then it's black. So it's rotating clockwise 90 degrees each time. So that means that one there would need to be white in that particular corner. And the only answer from B and E is E. That's the only one viable that fits that particular element. So don't forget, just pick one particular aspect of each shape or figure and have a look for a pattern within it. So now it's your turn. 
What I'd like you to do is to please put your answer to question three that follows right now in the comments section below this video for marking. There is a timer on the right hand side that will go down. I'm going to give you just 12 seconds to answer this one. And the question is which figure comes next in the sequence? So you've got one, two, three, four, five. We need to decide which one comes next from A, B, C, D, or E. So please put your answer in the comments section below and the reason why you've chosen that answer. Here we go. Okay, brilliant. Well done. I hope you got it correct. Let's move on. Try a different one. This one's a little bit harder, so I'll give you a little bit more time, 18 seconds. Please put your answer to question four in the comments section below the video for marking. Which figure comes next in the sequence? This is a little bit tougher. Is it A, B, C, or D? Here is your timer. Okay, well done. Question number five. Let's take a look at another example, a different kind of inductive reasoning test question. Which figure comes next in the sequence? Okay, so we're presented with a series of arrows and circles of different shades and different, um, different colors. We've got black and white and also striped circles and, and dotted circles. So is it A, B, C, D or E? So all we need to do is use the exact same methodology for working through each particular element. So if we look at the arrow, each time it moves on a sequence, it's just rotating just 45 degrees clockwise each time it's moving round. That means for the next one in the sequence, it would need to be in that position. So it can't be that one because it needs to be white. And if you just quickly look at the top arrows, you have a black one, a white one, a black one, a white one, a black one. So therefore, we are looking for a white one, so we can get rid of that one, and we can get rid of that one because it's not pointing in the correct dire the direction in the top right-hand corner. So it's either B, C, or E. So then what we will do is choose a different element of the shape. We'll go with the black circle. Then it moves 40 to 45 degrees again, clockwise, but this time it's going to a, a spotted shaded one. Then you've got some stripes then it's black, spotted. So we're going to be looking for stripes because the sequence is black, dotted, and then stripes. And it would be in that position. And of course, the only one in that position is B. So the correct answer to question five is B. Relatively simple. So now it's your turn again. Please put your answers to questions six and seven in the comments section below the video for marking. So there's two here. So here's the first one, question six. Which figure completes the sequence? So we're looking for the answer option here, where the question mark is from A, B, C, D, or E. Please put your answer to question six in the comments section below. Here's a timer. Okay, brilliant, well done. And question seven, which figure completes the sequence? So we're looking for the one that comes next out of A, B, C, D, or E. So which figure will come next to complete the sequence? Here's your timer. Okay, question number eight, which figure is the odd one out? So this is a different kind of inductive reasoning test. I'm going to get you to try a couple in a second. But the question is, which figure is the odd one out from those um, particular patterns? So what we would do is just look for patterns in each one. So you've got two black shapes and two white shapes there. You've got two stripy shapes and two grey shaded ones. And then you've got, again, two shaded ones and two further ones. So there's a pattern there, which is two shades of each type for each one. However, if you look at B, that's the only one which is the odd one out because there's three black shapes instead of two. So the equation is totally thrown out because instead of having two and two, you've got three and one. So the correct answer there, which is the odd one out, is B. 
Okay, so now it's your turn. Please put your answers to questions 9 and 10 in the comments section below. These are odd one out inductive reasoning test type questions. Here we go. Which figure is the odd one out? A, B, C, D or E? Please put your answer in the comments section below the video and the reason why. Here we go. Brilliant. And question number 10. Try this one. Which figure is the odd one out? A, B, C, D or E. Here is your timer. OK, brilliant. Well done. Now, if you would like more inductive and psychometric testing questions and answers for free, please click the link in the top right hand corner of the website or go to my website mypsychometrictest.com where you can get free access. You can try these psychometric tests under time conditions on your phone, your laptop, your iPad, whatever it is you use. It's compatible on there under time conditions with full explanations. Hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to get access to that testing suite and I look forward to teaching you next time through the CareerVids channel. Thank you very much for watching.